Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at SDR Uno version 1.3. Before we jump into using the software, for those of you new to my channel, we'll do a quick overview of the hardware that I've got set up. As you can see here, I'm going to be using my RSP Duo for this demonstration. I've got the RSP Duo connected through an SMA to SO239 adapter. And for this purpose, I've got this connected to my Super J Pole or Slim Jim that's up in the rafters of my garage. If we do any HF through this demonstration, I may switch this antenna over to my 40 and 80 meter fan dipole that's out in the side yard. And you can see on this side, I've got a USB cable connected to my old HP computer, which is using an AMD Phenom quad core processor. So now I'll switch over to screen capture mode and we'll take a look at SDR Uno version 1.3. So as you can see, I've got SDR Uno version 1.3 up and running. And it looks a lot like the old version 1.22. The most noticeable difference here is the new scan window. And it looks a lot like the record window, but it is different. So let's go through some of the settings for the scanner. So there are two scan modes in SDR Uno version 1.3. The first is range scan where you can scan between a range of frequencies. And then there is memory scan, where you can scan through the currently loaded memory bank down here in the memory panel. And then of course in the window, we also have a stop scan, start scan, pause scan, and skip to the next frequency controls. So first up, let's talk about range scanning. In order to set the options for range scanning, I'm just gonna click on this button up here, scanner config you can see that a new window appears. The first field is preset ranges. And if I click the pull down, you can see that SDR Play has included several presets here. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna click on the Airband North America preset. And you can see that it automatically populates the start frequency, the stop frequency, and the step frequency. Now down here, the hold time threshold and these bottom four options are configurable but we'll talk about those in a minute. So if I go back up to the preset ranges and scroll down to one of the four custom presets, I'll pick custom preset one, you can see that the start frequency, stop frequency, and step frequency are now configurable. So for instance, if I wanna scan the upper two meter repeater frequencies in the two meter ham band, so the upper range of repeater frequencies here in Southern New England generally start at 146.64 megahertz. And you can see we have to type this in in hertz. The stop frequency for the upper range is about 1473900000. And the step frequency between each repeater is generally 15 kilohertz. So I'm gonna leave this set to 15,000. I'll leave the hold time set at three seconds. I'm gonna skip the threshold setting for a moment and take a look at these bottom options. The first one is wait on signal. If I check that, what this means is that when SDR Uno detects a signal during scan, it'll stop on that signal and stay on that signal until the signal disappears. If this is unchecked, then it only stays on that particular signal for the hold time, whatever the hold time is set to. The next option is display threshold. And what that does is that toggles the display of this white line over here in the spectrum display. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. This checkbox here, save to memory panel, will allow SDR Uno to write any signal that it picks up during a scan to the currently active memory bank down here in the memory panel. And then the continuous loop option toggles whether or not SDR Uno scans through the frequency range once or it continues to scan through it in a continuous loop. So for now, I'm gonna hit save preset to write all of these to the custom preset one range. So let's talk a little bit about the threshold before we start doing a range scan. So what I'll do now is I'll tune to the two meter band. And as you can see, I've already got a two meter frequency punched in here. I'm already set to the FM mode. I've got my narrow FM filter set and I'm set at 15 kilohertz. So I'm going to start the radio like I normally would and push play. That's six meters. And you can see we've got a signal in there already. Okay, so what you can see here is we've got one signal going here. This is a active repeater. And then the rest of this down here is the noise floor. 
So what we want to do is we want to set the threshold somewhere between what an active signal would look like and the noise floor. And actually we want it a little above the noise floor. So in this case I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set the threshold to somewhere between 110 and 115 decibels. So let's go back into the scanner config and change that. I'm going to set it to negative 112. I'm going to close that out and now we're ready to start the range scan. Okay so in order to start the range scan I'm just going to come over here to the scanner panel and hit the green play button to start the scanner. Okay. So you can see immediately it's stopping on some noise, but you can see how that when it stops, it writes the frequency over here to the memory panel. Well, let's go ahead and stop the scan and adjust the threshold so that it's a little bit higher in the spectrum window. So now let's try negative 100 decibels. Okay, so SDR Uno really doesn't look like it's doing anything at the moment, but it is in fact scanning. There just aren't any signals here in the 2 meter band to listen to right now. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and let's pick a different range of frequencies to scan so that we can pick something up. Okay, so it's kind of late here on a Friday night and there's not a whole lot going on in the VHF band. So I've gone ahead and punched in some frequencies in the NOAA weather band that I think we can use for an example here. So my start frequency is 162.400 megahertz. My stop frequency is 163 megahertz. And I've got my step frequency at 12.5 kilohertz. I've got my hold time set to three seconds, and I found that my threshold works best at negative 107 decibels. So I'm going to save that, we'll close that, and let's start the scan so you guys can see what it looks like. Massachusetts, including Hartford and Springfield, issued mostly cloudy, temperature 46, wind calm. Overnight, mostly cloudy, uh, mostly cloudy, temperature 47, wind. So as you guys can see, I've only got two signals here that we're working with, but you can see that it did scan through the range that it was supposed to, and when it hit those signals, it stopped, held there for three seconds, and played the audio and then moved on to the next one, so on and so forth, just like a scanner should. And you can see that along the way it also wrote those frequencies to memory. So that's a quick example of how the range scan works. Now let's take a look at the memory scan. So in order to do a memory bank scan, all we have to do is go over here and click the mem button and then the radio will scan whatever's down here in the memory bank. You can see I've got some example frequencies typed in. Up here at the top are the two weather frequencies that we were just looking at. I've got some other HF frequencies down here, one six meter frequency and a bunch of two meter repeaters programmed in over here. Now you may also be able to notice this column, there's Y's and N's in here, and any frequency that is marked with a yes will be scanned when I push the scan button, and any one that is marked with an N will be skipped. So for right now, I'm skipping all of the HF and 6 meter frequencies, and we're just looking at the VHF frequencies. So if I go ahead and hit play, it will now scan through the frequencies that are marked with a Y. Well, the official National Weather Service forecast for northern Connecticut. Air, temperature 51, wind southwest at 7. Oh, how you doing, Craig? Boy, you're up late. Swims 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts up to 20. Temperature 44, wind calm. And it's... Projects while I wait for parts to come in for the... Uh... Okay, so as you can see, we were able to get three frequencies active in the memory scan. The two weather channels, of course, and then one of the repeaters was active. So one nice thing about SDR Uno is that you can scan any frequency that the radio can receive. So you're not limited to just VHF. So over here in the memory bank, you can see I've got some HF frequencies typed in. I've got a handful in the 80 meter band and I've got a few in the 40 meter band. You can scan across multiple bands if you want to by just putting in whatever frequency you want in the memory panel. However, there are a couple of limitations with that. The first being that the scan function doesn't pay any attention to this mode column that's in the memory bank. So in other words, what happens is when you initiate the scan, it scans in whatever mode the radio is set to. So for example, right now I'm in lower sideband mode, and if I had some VHF FM 2 meter frequencies in here, it would scan those frequencies and it would stop if it heard a signal, but 
the radio would be in lower sideband mode and we really wouldn't be able to hear what was going on. The other limitation that I found is that there's only one threshold setting and what might work on one band may not work well on another. But for this example, scanning between 80 and 40 meters should work because the signal to noise ratio on both bands is similar and the noise floor is close enough between the two. So having said all that, you'll notice that I've got the radio in memory scan mode and I've got these frequencies punched in, so I'm just going to start the scan. If the Jeep goes back, we will see, Billy. Oh yeah, well, what... The name is Marty. Over. But anyway, come back. Yeah, I probably work fine. Usually in the morning I college and uh, there just wasn't enough money, so they... So I'm sure I'll be able to talk to you down there in Tennessee. I believe 2015, maybe. Now the D-side. Cars, we've been restoring an antique boat. Hey, what kind of jacket are they? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I don't have one. It's pretty much worthless. That's pretty much going to wrap things up for SDR Uno version 1.3. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.